Hello, it's Lastro, and welcome to LST Plays. And today I'm playing some of a new game that's just come out called Unravel. I'm just finding my. Uh, just starting the game, literally. And um, yeah, I, I spotted this one, and uh, I was instantly hooked on just the way it looks and the sound. And it's. Um, I was a big fan of uh, Little Big Planet when it first came out, but this one just looks like it's taken it up a notch in the cute department. Um, <laughs> It's so good looking, um, and the physics on the rope swings and stuff. I've been watching people play this for uh, for uh, for a few weeks now. They did release like a demo level, um, and I watched a few YouTubers play it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to, I have to buy this game. So it came out um, just during the week. There. I think it came out on yesterday, possibly. I'm not understand. I picked it up yesterday, anyway. That's for sure. Um, and it's so easy to swing, it's, you just, I'm using a controller for this, I'm playing this on PC by the way, um, no real particular reason, I don't think it's, um, you know, any better looking on PC than it is on uh, any of the um, consoles, um, and, and it is available on, on Xbox One and PS4, and um, I'm playing it on PC Origin, so, but yeah, it's, uh, it's something special, definitely. It's developed by a studio called Coldwood Interactive, and they're from Sweden, and um, it's published by EA. Ah, oh, it's just amazing looking. Just everything about it is just gorgeous. So I just felt I'd sort of talk while I'm sort of just you know messing around the controls and stuff in this wee first part. So as you can see, you can repel up stuff as well, which is pretty cool. So you just sort of hold on to it and up you go. So it's right trigger to fire at the. Um, your uh, your rope swing um, or your yarn swing and uh, then it's left trigger to climb up it and um, you can do various different actions and stuff as well from what I've seen so yeah we're just gonna play the first level and um, I think I'm probably gonna play through this entire game and, and record and publish it so oh, what we got here oh she's just, I don't know if it's I don't know if this is gonna be a really sad story or not that's pretty sad, though. Okay. He's so cute. Look at him. It just... He he makes Sackboy look just awful. This this guy is like the new cutest sweet character. It's so simple as well, the design and all. His wee pointy head and all. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to probably run speechless at this. Oh, oh. It's a little butterfly. Oh, the music is just so good. I'm probably it's just gonna be me gushing for a little while. Oh, even little things like that just uh, such a nice attention to detail. So it is a puzzle game, um, puzzle platformer. It's obviously single player. Here we go. It's my first puzzle. There we go. Easy peasy. So. Yeah, eventually you run out of yarn, so you got to pick up those little, uh, you get to those little checkpoints, so. Off we go. Right. Hey. Yeah, you can't jump very far. Um, you can pull objects. There we go. Yep. That's that. And then we climb back up. So the character's called Yarny, um, obviously because he's made out of yarn, or wool. And we go. There's quite a lot of games that have, um, you know, got this sort of style, I suppose. Not not graphically, anyway. This is sort of semi-realism with, uh, you know, yarn. <laughs> Sounds so weird to say. Ah, so so intuitive the swinging. Look at the the rope, the um, yarn mechanics as well. Like you know, are just so nice. They sort of float through the air because yarn is really really light. Wee. Um. Oh. I've got a memory. So I really hope this isn't going to be a sad story because the music and all, I'll probably be in tears at the end of this if it is. Surfaces that glitter can be climbed, right. Good to know. Jump. Trick it to lasso. There we are. Um, it's running off an engine called the Fire Engine. Um, I think as you pronounce it, it's spelt P H Y R E. Fire engine, pyre engine, possibly pyre. 
Um, this is, I think this is Cold Wood's second game. Um, their first one, randomly enough, was called Move Fitness. And this seems like a complete departure from that style of gameplay. I'm pretty, I'm guessing that Move Fitness was a moving fitness game. <laughs> you can create little trampolines. It's awesome. You could just have so much, you could have hours of fun just messing around with different wee, like these sort of things and trying to knock apples down. I'm big in the cute games that, that do really awesome platform. I, I played through Yoshi's um, Woolly Woolly Wonderland, or I can't, I, I've, it's been a while since I played it. I can't remember the name of it, but oh, where's that going? Let's have a look. Oh, if you fall too far, I think you die. So I think is this the way we're meant to go? Oh, what have we got here? Okay, give it an apple. Right. Okay, so this must be like a collectible. It's a little button, a little woolly button. Okay, I'm not gonna try and get all of the buttons. I just wanna, I just wanna play through the game and uh, we'll pick up. If I spot one, I'm gonna probably obsess over it and pick it up. But I, if I, if I don't see it, I'm not gonna hunt them out specifically. Oh. That's so cool. Look at that. Remember your lasso. Using the yeah. Off we go. And then we'll create another little bridge. Yeah, there we go. So apparently um, DICE helped these guys get... It must have been DICE, Dice Stockholm. Helped... Um, I think Stockholm helped get um, these guys in the door at EA. Um, there we go. Oh, this is so cool. This is like... Can you imagine if they like made a, a sort of... A uh, platform sort of... Um, Rainbow Six game or something, just being able to scale down stuff would be pretty cool. It just works so well. It's so in it's so intuitive. This is probably the most intuitive platformer I've played in a very very long time. Um, here we go. Okay. What do we... Oh. Ah. We've got a little bridge for the apples. Right up you go. I'm guessing these will lead to somewhere. Let's have a look. Where's this going? Oh. That's right. Got... Oh, oh, oh dear. Water's probably not our friend. Let's get out of there. That's so the water oh the water just looks gorgeous as well. You can let me know if you're playing through this game as well. I imagine a lot of people are going to be playing this because it's just so, so pretty. Going to do a little bit of apple bobbin. Oh, we're going to get these and pull them. Yeah. There we go. Puts me in, the music puts me in the mind of Braid. Um, the graphics sort of, in a way, it's like a coloured version of Limbo. Oh, oh dear. Okay, so you can sort of you can sort of jump out of water if you fall in, but imagine if we stay in the water too long, we're gonna die. Press hold down to restart a location. Okay, hopefully we're not we need that too much. Oh, there's a magpie. up here. So, so cool looking. They've just, they've really done a lot of work on some of these objects. They, they all look really good. Oh, and the mechanics of everything as well put together. It's really nice. Up across. Let's have a look down here. Oh, we've got a, we've got a wee yarn spot. A checkpoint. There we go. Um, is it? Oh, it must it? They must just stick on the. They must just stick on the pins then. Okay. Let's have a look across here. So I'm guessing we're gonna get across. Oh wait, we can just get up here. This is weird. Wee. The sunflowers look great. A little bell. Ah, oh, and it works too. That's so cool. These guys, these guys have done such an awesome job. Oh, we've got another button. 
let's get the button. Let's, let's just repel up. You see the, the way that the yarn sort of loops around that object as well, so I'm going to guess that there's going to be some kind of uh, mechanics involved in that. I'm going to have to loop the yarn around stuff to hook it. We've got a little tricycle. Oh. Okay. Am I going to ride the tricycle? Let's see. Can you get in it? Come on. <laughs> okay, we've got a git. What are we going to do with this gate? Okay. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. And... Off you go. Off you go. No? Oh. It's not moving. Oh. Uh-oh. No! No! Come back! Come back! Oh my god. Oh, failure. Ah. Oh. We wrecked it. Can I get up the tricycle? Get. Come on. Yeah. Get on. Ah. Just hold it down there. Let's restart that bit. Right, okay, let's try again. Try again. Hopefully, we can um, get on the track this time. So it's like, it's like a little kid's tricycle and there's pictures of little kids. I really hope this isn't a sad story. I hope it's one of those games that makes you feel really, really good. Oh, here we go. Surfing the handlebars. This guy's a badass. Oh. Trying to jump there, but it didn't really work. Alright, so we've got a checkpoint. Happy days. Oh, we've got a button. Can we get it? No. Yeah. Right. I think if we get up higher, I think we get it get up on top of that uh, thing anyway, so we'll try and get up there and then uh, can we swing to it. Oh, there's another one. Right, where's this go? Woo! <laughs> You could have so much fun just I could have so much fun just swinging between these all day to be honest with you. Trees are just everything about this game is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Woohoo! Right. Whoop. Okay. Yep. Do it. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Just like monkey swinging between uh, branches. We've got a little knot in our yarn there. Right, how am we going to do this? We just drop off. Yeah. Collecting buttons. Right. Come on. Get you up there. Okay. Oh. oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if you... Um... Oh, the button's still collected. Oh, that's pretty cool. So, if you die after you collect the secret, at least you get to keep the secret. That's pretty good. So, I don't have to mess around trying to get that. Um... Okay. So, yeah, if you, you die if you fall from too high a... Uh... Oh, higher place. I've just completely forgotten how to swing. Come on. Swing! I think I was swinging enough the last time. There we go, right. And we'll put one there. And then we'll put one over there. Come on, up you get. Go on, Yanni. Alright. There we go. To safety. Yeah. 
Oh. No, not the memories of the treehouse. Yeah, this is just... Like, it just... I think the... I loved the Little Big Planet when it first came out, but there wasn't really enough um, direction. There was no real sort of uh, meaningful sort of story, or you know, even a hint of a real decent story. Oh, oh dear. Um, and I always sort of thought that the levels were too short. Um, obviously, you can create your own levels in that, but um, it just sort of got a bit old. Um, on, on me, and I think that uh, the last little big planet game didn't do too well because it's just—I mean, you've got to really sort of. I don't think you can just sort of. If you're going to make a cute platformer, you, unless it's Mario, you, I don't think you can really just keep sort of churning out the same sort of stuff. Um, and even Mario, I mean, they tend to sort of alternate what the we need. I think we need the block. Um, they tend to sort of alternate what they uh, they do with Mario. You know, so the last one they released was. Um, Paper Mario. It was uh, Mario Maker, which is really good. Um, and before that, we've had like obviously the new Super Mario Brothers and the Wii U and stuff like that. But it sort of changes its style a little bit, and I think a little bit of Planet's probably been pushing out the same sort of stuff for too long now. Oh, we've got Platformer. Awesome. All right, Platformer. We've got seesaw, more like. All right, this. This be Hedgehog. Look. Awesome. No, I think we just needed to use the uh, seesaw to get up on that. There we go. There's a woodpecker. Hello, Mr. Woodpecker. Off he goes. Oh, we've got a tire swing. Awesome. So, they, they, because they're from Sweden, this must be based in Sweden. This must be like a. Like there was a bit of Swedish, I think, on the pillow um, at the start of the game. I think it's Swedish. Um, well, I'm guessing it's Swedish because they're a Swedish developer, obviously. But it must be set. Um, maybe this is like one of the developers. Maybe it's the lead developers. Um, or whoever wrote the game, anyway. Maybe it's their uh, some of their childhood or something. Maybe it, you know this is a place that they've actually you know used to go to or oh. In we go. Oh! And that's changed a little bit. It's a little bit darker. Literally. Still looks great though. The music's changed as well. It's pretty cool. It's got a little. Oh, okay, so we're gonna have to create a little uh, slide. Here we go. Up we go. I think if we see items that. Oh dear. We have to. I think we have to create one up here as well. Big, big slide. Right. And then we just push it all the way up. Here we go. I don't know, this is like a money box or something? Or a nail box, perhaps? Cool. If anyone from Sweden is watching this, and I will. Guessing it's sweet. I hope it's Swedish. Otherwise, that just sounds stupid. But um, if anyone's watching that can read any of the stuff in the uh, in the game, let me know what it means. Or um... oh, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. That was so cool. Into a pile of leaves. Oh, what have we got here? It's a little button. Oh, it's like a little um, embroidered uh, patch or something. Oh, that's, okay, so that must be the end of level. Cool. Awesome. So that's the objective of the game, is to get little patches or buttons and put them in the little book. Okay. Well, I think I'll end this part here, um, and I think uh, we'll probably, well, we're definitely going to be picking this back up. So um, let me know what you think of the game. Um, is it something that you're playing yourself? Oh, you can press X to have a look, and maybe there's a... Oh, there's a little memory. Oh, so we're going to collect some story. Cool. Leave a like, subscribe, let me know what you think of the game, and uh, I'll see you in the next part.